Hello gardening friends, I'm Zenith and welcome to Gardening Mindfully. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to have fun propagating African violets using a single leaf in soil. I remember growing up and my mom would propagate her African violets using a single leaf but in water. That's also another option, but today we'll be using soil and not water. African violets are just beautiful plants. They bloom all year round. As long as we get the temperature, water, and light correct, they're very carefree and easy to grow. And they reward us with beautiful blooms when nothing else is in bloom. So for that reason, we propagate our African violets. Besides that, they also make wonderful gifts. And Mother's Day is coming up soon, and hopefully these plants will root and possibly bloom by Mother's Day. If not, it should be a few weeks after that. In any event, they will make wonderful gifts for Mother's Day. To propagate your African violets, here are the supplies you'll need. First, you'll need a host plant. I'll be doing four pots today, so I'll take two leaves from this African violet, the top right. I'll take one leaf from the pink and another one from this at one at the bottom. In addition to your host plant, you'll need potting mix. Unfortunately, I ran out of the African violet potting mix, and but I think this one will work. As long as your potting soil is well draining, it should be fine. So I think this one will work fine. I also have a bowl to mix the, the potting soil with water in order to moisten it. And in addition to that, you need water. So my water has been in my watering can for a day. You also need um, a sharp knife or a pair of scissors. I'll be using these. They're nice and sharp. Or I can use scissors, the common scissors I also have here a rooting hormone, which is really not necessary, but I'll use the rooting hormone on two of the leaves. We also need like a little dipper or a pencil, something to make the hole in the potting soil so we can place our leaf in the soil. I have garden gloves here, but I doubt I'll need it because I'll just use my fingers to moisten the, the, the uh, to mix the potting mix with the water. And I have four terracotta pots here. I have RH on two of them because I'll place the leaves that has the rooting hormones the rooting hormone in these pots and the ones without the rooting hormone will be in a pot, just a plain pot, nothing written on the top, on the pot. In addition to that, we will need what I have here, a takeout container to create a mini greenhouse. That's important. The mini greenhouse will simulate the condition where African violets originate. So they originate in Tanzania and East Africa, and the climate there is hot and humid. So that's their natural condition. So we are going to simulate that condition by using this plastic takeout container. And if you notice, I went ahead and I wrote the date on top just so I can keep track of um, when it was potted up. So those are the supplies that we need to get started. 
So the first step is to moisten the soil. So I've already placed some soil in this bowl and I'm going to add water. And we need it to be crumbly. This is much easier than using my gardening gloves. So this is nice and damp. I think I'll add just a little bit more water. Yeah, this is better. So you'll see it's, it's I'm able to form a, a, a clump, like a little ball, but it's still loose. So I think this is fine. So I'll go ahead, step number two is to place the soil in my pots. So I'll start with the pots that has the RH, the rooting hormone. So these are the leaves that I will start with first. So I misjudged the amount of soil that I needed. So I'll just get a couple more handfuls for the next pot and add water. still not quite enough water, so I need to add a bit more. I could have just gone ahead and placed the, the leaves in the, placed the, the soil into the pots and then water afterwards. That's another option but I've always seen my mom do it this way. So, and I've always done it this way as well. So we stick with what we know. So since I have the soil here, I'll just go ahead and, and use it up. Now that's perfect. So I'm finished with my soil. So I'll just put the soil away, get it out of the way. And then I will harvest my leaves. So I'll start with this. I need two leaves from this plant. So I won't take any leaves that are damaged or really old. I'll go into the interior and take a couple of leaves. And I was sure to get a leaf with quite a bit of stem on it. So that's about one inch, which is perfect. So while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and harvest my second leaf. And these are really sharp. It's just one cut. And, it, and I was able to get the, the stem all the way down to the base. Now again, it's, it, this is probably a little bit more than an inch, but this is perfect. 
So I'll go ahead and I'll take this leaf and I'll dip it in the rooting hormone. And a little root hormone, rooting hormone goes a long way. So I'll just go ahead and shake off any excess rooting hormone. And then I'll just um, get my dibber. I can go ahead and, and make, make the holes ahead of time for the rest of them. And so I'll just take my stem and I'll place it in that hole. And I want to be careful that my leaf is not touching the soil. And then I'll just use my fingers and just pinch the soil around the stem. Beautiful. And here's my second leaf. Again, in the rooting hormone, I'll shake off any excess. Now here's the second stem that has the rooting hormone. And again, I made sure that the leaf is not touching the soil. This is perfect. Now I'll go ahead and harvest the leaf from the pink. Again, I'll get my little clippers here. And I'll go in the interior of the plant and I'll go as far down as I can. One cut. And here is my leaf. And with this leaf, I will not be using the rooting hormone. So make sure I have the hole in the center of the pot. So I place the stem in the hole making sure that the leaf sits up above the soil. And I think I'll go ahead and I'll write pink on here. Just as a reminder, this is the pink. So you see I wrote pink. And this is my last plant, one leaf from this plant. Take my dibber, get my hole, place the stem into the hole. And actually, I did cut my leaves at a 45 degree angle. So the stem is cut as a 45 degree angle. And then I'll write on this one, violet. So that's the color. So it's violet. So that's the violet. So I have all four leaves in my mini greenhouse. I'm just checking to make sure that my leaf is not touching the top of
So here we go. So all we need to do now, the final step is to place this in a bright location and the roots should form in three to four weeks. I have loved African violets from an early age and take special pride in propagating them. And you will too. Don't be afraid to propagate some African violets for yourself and also as gifts. It's a very rewarding experience. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to Gardening Mindfully, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.